Hey everybody, it's James here from GoodGuitarist.com and in today's lesson I have a holiday classic for you guys. It's Jingle Bells by whoever wrote Jingle Bells. This song's probably like 100 years old. This song uses just four chords. It's mostly G, C, and D. And that's like the trinity of chords. You know, you learn those three chords, you play like a billion songs. We're also gonna add an A chord to that. So it's all super basic chords and a super basic strumming pattern. You know, this one's not gonna be too difficult to get together. I'm actually gonna give you a few options for strumming patterns, depending on how you want your performance of this song to go. But the chords are gonna be the same the whole time. If you need any extra help along the way, I do have a bunch of resources. I have my beginner course, which will teach you all these chords and more. You know, I've devised some ways to kind of get you to the point where you can learn on your own and you'll know all the basic chords, you'll know how to strum and how to count things out, you know, all the skills behind those things that you want to learn. I also have my rhythm guitar ebook, which is 100% free. You can find uh, that below as well. So check those out if you need any extra help along the way. Otherwise, we're just going to jump right in, get started with the chord shapes. Our first chord is G. Then we have a C chord. And going from G to C is the hardest part of this entire song, you know. If you can do that, the song's gonna be no problem. Then we have a D chord. And finally, at just one point in the song, there is an A chord. Once you have those together, we can practice strumming them in order using downstrokes only. And this is gonna make sure that our chord hand is doing its job. We're starting off on a G chord, and we're just gonna do four downstrokes per measure. I'm gonna count out loud. I encourage you to do so as well. That way we can keep track of how long we play each chord for. Let's try it out, starting on G. One, two, three, four. G, two, three, four, again. Switch to C now. C, two, three, four. C, two, switch to D. Two, three, four. D, three, four. G, two, three. Again. One measure of D, another measure of D, and G. Now we go to the chorus. Jingle bells. We go on this chord for four measures. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. D, two, three. Back to G. Again, two more measures. One, two, switch to C. G. D. Back to G. So that's the entire chord order. And if you're having trouble with it, I recommend just trying that section over and over again. You know, it's worth it to count it out and memorize how long to play each chord for and develop that feeling for when you need to switch chords. This is how you do it, by counting it out. Anyways, once you're comfortable with that and your chord hand is doing its job making nice clean switches right on beat one, we can take a look at a strumming pattern that goes with this tune. Now, my first choice goes like this. I'll do it slowly. Three and four and. That's just root, down, miss, up, down, up. I'll do it super slow. Three and four and. Root and down and. Miss, up, down, up. So for root, I'm just getting the low strings. And if you're still having trouble with that, we can divide it into two parts. First, we have root down, and that happens on beats one and two. So I want you to count it out loud. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Just like that, over and over again. One, two, three, four. And that's the first half. The second half, we just go miss, up, down, up. 
So we miss the strings entirely on beat three, and that prepares us to make an upstroke, up, down, up, and then we start the whole thing again, counting it all out, three and four and one and two and three and four and. So if you're having trouble, just count it out, take a look, line up the strokes with the counting. As long as you're counting out steadily, this should come together. And if you need extra help, once again, I have all those resources that you should check out. Anyways, really quickly before we put this together, because that's the strumming pattern that I'm going to use and that I highly recommend for this song. There's also two other ones I think you can use that'll give it a bit of a different vibe. There's the common strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down, up. And that feels a bit more like a country song, so if you want to play country jingle bells, I recommend checking that one out. Just down, down, up, up, down, up. And then there's also down, root, down, down, up. And you can do that slowly and do like a more sad version of Jingle Bells. Jingle all the way. So we have our options. And like I said before, I'm going to use root, down, up, down, up, that first one that we broke down. That's what I'm gonna use for this play along. We're gonna take our chord shapes, our chord progression, combine it with the strumming, and that's the whole song. Let's try it together nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Cool, so that's all there is to it. And if you could do that, it's just a matter of playing that exact same thing like five or six times in a row. That's the whole song. Now I recommend trying to find a recording of this one in the same key. The thing with traditional songs like this is that people have recorded them in every single key imaginable. Wait till you find one in the key of G. The first one that shows up on YouTube when you type Jingle Bells is in the key of G. That's why I picked this one and it's just really common and easy. So I recommend playing along with it. Maybe I'll put a link to that video down below just so you know exactly which one I'm talking about. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and that you have a wonderful holiday season and I'll see you next time.